Hello guys, welcome back to E7 Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily E7 Engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to show that how we can calculate the load carrying capacity of a column. So if there is any column, for example, this is any square or circular column, and there is a load applied to this column, so we always have longitudinal reinforcement and transverse reinforcement in the design of the column. Now, in this lecture, we are interested to show that how we can how we can calculate the capacity, the load carrying capacity of this column. That how much load this column can take if we know the reinforcement provided in the column and also the strength of the concrete provided in this column, that then how we can calculate the load carrying capacity for this column. So there is a simple equation used recommended by the Indian standard IS. 456 456 in class number 39.3 where they recommend this equation that PU is equal to the 0.4 if CK AC plus 0.67 into FY into area of steel RAS so this equation is used to find out the load carrying capacity for the column where PU here, PU here is the load carrying capacity of the column and here FCK is the characteristic strength of the concrete. Characteristics strength of concrete and here AC is the area the cross-sectional area of the concrete it is the cross-sectional area cross-sectional area of concrete it may be a circular or rectangular column or it might be a square column if y is the grade of the steel that which type of the grade is used here grade of steel i mean the strength of the concrete here, the strength of the steel bar here, if y, and a is, is the amount of area of the longitudinal reinforcement, area of the longitudinal reinforcement, not the transverse longitudinal reinforcement. It should be kept in mind that this area is only the area of the longitudinal reinforcement. So here we have different parameters in this equation where 0.4 is a constant value if we know the characteristics strength of the concrete for example the characteristic strength of the concrete can be M20, M25 we have different strength of the concrete M20 means that the strength of the concrete is 20 megapascal here and M25 means 25 megapascal we have strength of the concrete so this is FCK we will put the value of the characteristic strength of the concrete in this equation AC is the area of the concrete, area of the cross section, area of the concrete means if this is my cross section of the area, concrete, so it's the width of the concrete and this is the depth of the concrete column. So we should put their values, their cross sectional area here, and also then point, and then we have addition sign plus and point six seven, then FY, the grade of the steel, that which type of the steel we have, we have 40 KSI grade of steel. Or 60 ksi and so on here the last one is the AS which is the area of the longitudinal reinforcement that how much if you consider here this one that how much longitudinal reinforcement is used here this reinforcement which are vertical bars in the column so how much the area of this longitudinal reinforcement this we should put it into the equation then we can find out our load carrying capacity which is equal to the 0.4 into FCK into AC plus 0.67 into FY into AS. So when we know all these characteristics of the equation, when we put all these parameters into this equation, so we will get the PU. PU means the load carrying capacity for this column. Load carrying capacity for this column so this is the equation 
provided after the design of the column that either this column can take the superimposed load or not. So we can use this equation to find out the load carrying capacity of the column. Hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.